Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to try to cover as much as I could here in five minutes regarding a uh, Chinese diesel heater. Uh, this is a five kilowatt diesel heater. Uh, it runs off 12 volt. Um, the kilowatt actually converts out into BTUs. Uh, they have a two and five kilowatt available in most of these Chinese diesel heaters. Um, the two kilowatt goes out to 6,824 BTU and the five kilowatt is 17,060 BTU. So um, we like to go off grid and part of going off grid sometimes is having uh, what's known as a solar generator or a power pack unit. Essentially it's uh, lithium ion batteries with a pure sine wave inverter and it's all mounted into a fancy box. It's got uh, everything you need, uh, 110, 12 volt, um, has lights and also has direct plug DCs. I think those are 2.1 millimeter. I'm not sure. I have another one that's got 2.1 millimeter, but then you've got your USB, uh, with your different voltages. So, uh, my issue here that I have is that this 12 volt receptacle on these only puts out 10 amps. And from what I've researched on uh, many of these types of batteries, generators, power units, um, is that they only do 10 amps. So this diesel heater requires at least 12 amps. So I found a uh, step down uh, converter, transformer, whatever it's called on uh, Amazon. It does 20.8 watts. So it goes from 110 to 12 volt to my cigarette lighter, which I wired up to the wires on the diesel heater, um, which came with the unit. So this unit uh, essentially is an all-in-one. Uh, you can buy all of the parts separately. The all-in-one includes just the outside casing, which is just kind of a wrapper for all of it. Uh, they do come in shorter models, but they're fatter. Um, a lot of that space is also taken up by your uh, little diesel tank in here. And then basically the heater itself is right there. The inlet and the exhaust, as I will be referring to them, both come out of the bottom. Uh, the exhaust is actually outside the garage right now. It runs off of a uh, metal pipe, uh, which gets very hot. So, um, But that's where your diesel exhaust goes. And then on the back of this is a fan right here. And that fan blows air through the heater. The heater has a glow plug, which uh, burns. There's a pump in here. So the pump is a trickle pump. It just kind of goes tick, tick, tick as it's spitting out gas, which goes around, gets primed in uh, through the bottom, comes in, hits the glow plugs. Once it hits the glow plugs, it, it ignites. And once it's ignited, the glow plugs kick off. And then you just have wattage for the fan to blow the, the clean air uh, from the inlet in the back where I showed you where the fan is out of here so essentially all of your waste gas and exhaust is outside of your tent or van or wherever you want to put this and uh, so my modifications that I recommend for anybody the first thing you should do is put a fuel filter uh, in between this guy and the fuel pump which is right here there is a uh, hose that comes out of this goes direct into the fuel pump you want to put your fuel filter on there and then that will pump down into here. These have an auto prime. So for your first use where you're actually priming this, I recommend removing the fuel hose from the bottom and then turning on the auto prime. And once it primes through, it won't prime very well if it's attached from what I've noticed because uh, there's pressure buildup and that fuel pump can't pump at a high enough rate of pressure to push all the air out. So if you just unhook it, and then hook it back up and make sure you've got your little clip on there to hold it in place so it doesn't leak diesel um, because the inlet for the gas is literally right next to the exhaust which is kind of sketch um, so yeah it's I'm already at 433 so I haven't even turned this on yet but so I am gonna have to make this in two videos but anyway um, this is part one so yeah, so once that's all hooked up and everything, uh, we're going to get to the next video where we actually turn the unit on. Uh, I'll go over some common things on there and stuff you might see while uh, trying to operate the unit and troubleshooting steps. Thanks.